I realize I'm probably highly unusual in this. I like kissing my significant other. Yes, that's sarcasm for those of you who couldn't detect it. I think all of us feel that way. And don't you hate when you're out with your significant other and they go to kiss you and you've just put all your makeup on so you kind of dodge and they feel it and you feel it and nobody's satisfied by that and you all just wish you could have a lipstick where you could kiss. This is something that somebody sent me about a year ago. It's a product called Lip Sense, and it is a direct sales uh, product. And I don't usually like to promote direct sales products. So anybody who's involved with an MLM who wants to hit me up and say, hey, sell my product, please do not. Which is why it took me a long time to get around to using it. Somebody sent me this Lip Sense in a bright red and I have been wearing this more than any other lipstick I own because I can kiss with it on. I can put it on and I can put the gloss on and I can kiss and I can eat and I can have a glass of wine. And it pretty much at the end of the evening looks exactly the way it did at the beginning of the evening. But I got a little tired of wearing red all the time. It's fun, I love a bold lip. But I finally broke down and bought two more shades. So let me put them on. Well, I'm just gonna put one on, tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna show you some of the ones I've tried on the way to this and give you a rundown on them. And there you have it. A not very well thought out video, is it? But, well, you know how I am. So we're not gonna do the red. I bought two shades and I bought them on Amazon rather than going to a distributor because like I said, somebody wonderful sent it to me and I don't remember who it was, so I just went to Amazon and I can find colors there. If you are a LipSense distributor, please feel free to drop your information down below in the comments and I will leave it there and not mark it as spam and, you know, gain a few clients because this is a product that I really believe in. I bought these two shades. I wanted neutral shades that I could kind of wear with everything and it's a little hard to tell on this little teeny tiny swatch on Amazon and you're not really sure so these colors aren't really varied from each other one is called goddess and it is a very soft pink I will swatch all of these on my wrist when I'm done so you can see them all this is the goddess and it's a very soft pink. I tried it on my lips and I like it very much. This is not the color that I'm going to show you today. Why am I showing you one color? Because they don't come off. Come off. And if I were to try to take them off, put them on and take them off and put them on and take them off, my lips would just be raw from, from having to remove it all the time. Yes, when you get Lip Sense, they do have a special color remover so that you can remove the lipstick because you will need this. It does not budge. I don't use this. I use an oil cleanser when I remove my makeup at night. This is another one I got on Amazon. I honestly can't tell you what it's called because I don't read Korean, but it says Speedy Mo. And I liked that because I'm Mo. Actually, I, I I like this. I bought it. Uh, I bought one for my place and then I went and bought one for my boyfriend's place because I like it and it's like eight or nine bucks. So I'll drop a link down below for that. But Lip Sense does have a special remover and that is something you should probably use as well. I know, do as I say, not as I do. The color that I am going to use is called Roseberry and I chose this color because it's Got a little deeper tone, but it's not quite to a red, but it's a little bit more than lip color. Now they do not recommend doing this because lip pencil does not adhere in the same way that the Lip Sense does. However, because this is so hard to remove, I like to give myself a really nice line so that I can stay in the lines. Now, if you talk to a Lip Sense distributor, I'm sure they're going to try to sell you their special lip liner. And their special lip liner is probably just as indelible as the Lip Sense. And maybe you have a steadier hand than I do. 
maybe your vision is better as mine. You are probably more patient than I am. This is the Monique way of doing it. So whatever lip pencil that you have that is sort of like the same color or as close as you can to just a neutral tone, really just to give you a defined lip. I will now do my best to color in the lines. I find it's best to try to put this on with one smooth stroke and then usually I will do two layers. I think you could probably do three layers or you can do one layer, but I find that two layers gives me the best coverage. So much for one smooth stroke, huh? Yeah, well, again, do as I say, not as I do. It does sting a little. It's got a little tingle to it. It's, it's dry. Now, these colors are not pleasant colors to wear. These are not the lipsticks that you're gonna put on and go, oh, my lips feel wonderful. They do not feel wonderful. They feel dry. And right now, a little sticky. So, they do make a gloss that you can put on over it. I have the clear gloss somewhere. I think it's at my boyfriend's place. I have a there's like a frosty peach that you can put on top that I almost never wear uh, just because I'm not really into a frosty look on me. Not right now, maybe next year I will be, maybe next season, but not currently rocking it. So clear, clear gloss. Now it feels a whole lot better. And I know a lot of people like a matte look. I like a little bit of a glossy look and feeling good matters to me. And this is great because I find I can go out to dinner and I can kiss and I can drink wine. And unless I eat a super, super greasy meal, it stays put. Now with a super, super greasy meal where my lips are like a pizza or something, not that I eat pizza because I don't eat cheese, but you know, if I were eating something that like I had to really use my mouth on, it would sometimes come off a little bit on the inside but not much, not compared to any other lipstick. And here, look at that. You can see there's a little gloss on my hand, but no lip color. In fact, let me grab a tissue. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. So that is why I am going to recommend Lip Sense. You can find it on Amazon. If you have friends who are Lip Sense distributors, you've probably heard from them. Go ahead and buy something. I think you're gonna like it. Um, do not recommend this as a regular everyday. It's way too drying. I use this when I want my lips to stay put, when I know I'm gonna be at an event where I'm photographed, if I'm gonna be drinking something, if I wanna be kissing my sweetie. So, super pleased. What did I try on the way to arriving at this decision? Because like I said, I received my first lip sense in blue red about a year ago and was very resistant to try it. 
So after I tried it, and after I decided I really liked it, I was still resistant to buy more. And I was resistant to make this video, because I don't know why, I just don't like promoting MLMs. Um, mostly because I don't want a bunch of people to sorry, hit me up and say, hey, promote mine, because I'm not doing it. So I went to different places and tried to find similar items. There is a product called Lip Ink, which I actually did an infomercial for uh, 20 years ago. And I think they do a pretty good job. It's almost as good. Almost. It's, it's second best. Uh, great selection of colors. I find that the lip ink tends to get a little brighter as it wears, whereas the lip sense seems to just stay the same color. I went by Sephora and I asked them for a kiss proof lipstick. And they said, gosh, we have this one by Anastasia. Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? I never know. But Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I picked this up, and this was their color that they said was a special limited edition, so I picked that up. It's a little flat for me. I don't love the color. Trouble. It's called Trouble. That may have been what inspired me to pick it up. Um, and I don't care for the way this wears. It does last, but it feels like a dry coating on my lips that if I rub my lips together like that, I can feel it sort of like scraping off, like it's this layer of just gunk. And so I really didn't dig that. I just didn't like the way it feels. And the lip sense just feels like nothing. But I'll show you the color in case you're curious about what trouble looks like. You can see going for that sort of lip color but better but I do not let me let that dry I just did not get that same level of durability I also went by my local beauty supply and I picked up this is NYX epic ink and once again let me see what color this is heartbreaker and I thought this was okay. This is a nice stain. This really stains the lips. It does come off, but it leaves a remainder behind. So this is kind of nice as a, well, as a lip stain, just sort of as a daily when I don't have any makeup, I'll like put it on and then take it off and just have that little bit of color left on my lips. And this has a wide variety of colors and it's very inexpensive. It's NYX and I got it at my local beauty supply. I know it looks like I cut myself. It's a pretty color. So I'll let both of those dry. I'll show you the lip sense. I now have three shades of the lip sense. This was the original blue red, which I love. If you look at me on the Hollywood weekend video, that's this is what I was wearing through most of that video. What other videos? The Magic Funhouse panel. I was wearing this lipstick. Um, a lot of the videos where you've seen me wearing red lipstick, it's been this one because of its durability. Oh, and this isn't the red. No wonder it wasn't seeming so vibrant. This is the Roseberry. This is the Roseberry, the same color that I have on my lips that I just swatched right there on my arm. This is the Blue Red. And lastly, the Goddess. Which I think is going to be one that I really, really enjoy. It's a very pretty pink without being like ah, pink. Even though I like a rat pink. Now, was that a velociraptor sound? I'm not sure. Definitely sounded like something from some movie that I did. So these are the three, four, five. Apparently I missed that day of Sesame Street. The bottom one, Anastasia Beverly Hills. NYX Epic Ink. It's this one right here. Lip Sense Roseberry. Lip Sense Blue Red. And Lip Sense Goddess. Here's, let's start testing them. You can see it's not quite dry yet. 
So here are all the colors. And you can see these don't smudge. This smudges a little bit. This leaves a nice stain. I can tell you that I have had lipstick on and gone to bed and done some kissing and woken up in the morning and still had lipstick on. So there you have it. Kiss proof lipstick. Um, I will continue the testing because I believe it's very important. Very, very important to continue testing kiss proof lipstick. Just that kind of dedication, you know, just willing to keep kissing and kissing and kissing in the name of science. I'm a giver. Okay, this was a goofy video, but at least it's a video. I know. Cut this out, Monique. You're really not focused. I'm really not focused. So that's my foray into Kiss Proof Lipsticks. I hope you uh, found it somewhat interesting. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. At least you know if your friend is selling lip scents and they keep hitting you up saying buy some, buy some, buy some, you know what, buy one. Maybe you don't need to buy a lot of it, but um, for a special occasion lipstick, for a lipstick when you want to make sure that it's gonna stay put, the lip sense stays put. It stays put. Thanks for watching. I love you bunches. Drop your comments down below. And I mean it. If you are a lip sense distributor, go ahead and drop your information down below because somebody is probably going to be looking for you. Love you. Colby, kisses, sequel, snap time, they have no interest, I feel so unloved, hmm. fine, whatever.